Working on this podcast was muy divertido. Me encanta una buena love story. Oh, y a mí también. Speaking of love stories, I love it when our sponsors are actually brands that I know, like Kellogg's. Tell me more. I remember los desayunos en México when I loved having frutilupis y mi hermano Zucaritas. Roar of Tigre Toño included. <laughs> and Mama always had cornflakes. That's what I call them. But she always had cornflakes. And now, what are your favoritos? Siempre mis Fruity Loopies, but now I call them Fruit Loops. Y mi nuevo favorito, Special K. Well, I guess that's why they say, Kellogg's isn't a mom's stable aquí y allá. Sonoro and the Mashup Americans present Love and Noreba. extension oh vale what was that about huh oh i i keep having the same dream nightmare dreamer oh what about i'm back in college and i keep missing biology 101 like i thought i'd drop the class but i forgot to check and then during finals it turns out that i am in the class and i know nothing for the test oh well test dreams usually mean that you're feeling unprepared for something mm. does losing your restaurant count it's a close second. I gave everyone their final checks while you were sleeping. Why? I guess we could run this place into the ground for another week. <laughs> I'm really going to miss this place. Yeah, me too. I loved playing hide and seek in here. <laughs> oh, do you think I can still fit underneath the desk? <sighs> yep. I still fit. <laughs> that was like the only place you knew to hide. What? What are you talking about? You never found me when I was in Papi's stock pot. I knew you were in there. Shut up. I just got bored and would play something else. Nah. -uh. Why do you think Papi was the one who would always find you and shout, Ganaste? Uh, because I did. Okay, what about when we played tag? Did you let me win then? Oh, no, no, no. That was all you. Oh, good. <laughs> Hey, uh, uh, Anna? Yeah? Uh, can you help me out of here? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, oh, man. <laughs> I'm getting old. Oh, yeah. 25. When does your AARP membership kick in again? Hmm? My what? Yeah, you're not old. Mommy would have given you the chancla for that. If you're old, then what does that make me, huh? A skeleton, Mom? <laughs> I will turn you into an esqueleto. <laughs> she always had the weirdest threats. Uh, she would be proud of you. Of course she would. Who else was going to take care of her little Angelita? I took care of myself, thank you. Oh, okay. You disagree? I mean, vale. Come on. What is that supposed to mean? Just that I've worked really hard to put you through school. You've worked hard? You? Yes, me. I'm the one who had to keep all of this going to support the both of us. Oh, so then what was me studying nonstop, huh? While helping after class and on weekends and taking care of everything at home? That's not what I meant. You always think that you're the only one who has it hard, Anna. Always. It's like you like being a martyr. I do not. I think you actually enjoy it, yes. Because if you take on all the work and fail, then you can always blame others for never being there for you. Shut up. You think that things have only been hard for you? Huh? How about trying to finish 18 units while your family's business goes under? And you can't do anything to help because you're the reason why there are loans piling up. 
because it was your great idea to launch the salsa line that your dead parents dreamt of. How about getting a text from your big sister that mom had passed away right in the middle of a final and then getting yelled at by your professor for cheating. So you just finish the test and you just run out. I, I, I didn't know. Well, now you know. I'm sorry. I miss her. I miss them so much. Me too. It's almost like I can smell her cooking. Yeah, I, I can smell it too. Hey! Oh, what happened? Pity party at table nine. Okay. Well, I thought it would be nice to have one last meal here. Are you making pozole? I could use a little assistance if you're both free. Thank you, Mark. Ah, pozole. A soup that is as old as the Aztec Empire. What was once a tribute to the gods after a noble conquest is now served at family gatherings, holy communions, and Dia de los Reyes celebrations. It's also the perfect hangover cure for all you party people. Seared cuts of pork shoulder, hominy, garlic, onions, bay leaves, and of course, the chiles. Mexico's gift to the world and Don Dago's gift to LA. And depending on how spicy you like it, pozole can go from a slight kick to... Ooh. Mm. Oh yeah, that's spicy. Mm. It's exactly how mommy used to make it. Yeah? Not too spicy. No. It's perfect. She was right to trust you with the recipe, Mark. Valentina, set up a table for us, yeah? I'm on it. Pass me a few of those radishes. Sure. So, you've been avoiding me. That obvious? What if neither of us were to ever bring it up? Hypothetically? Sure. It would definitely make work awkward. I mean, if we were to still work together on the south side line. I like working with you, Mark. I do, too. And I also like... Please don't. If you're going to do the like-you-like-a-friend spiel, don't. Okay. I've been thinking, and and maybe it was a little selfish of me to confess to you like that. I'd be lying if I said I never found you attractive. You're incredibly smart and kind and have very strong morals. Yeah, just what all women want. Strong morals. The good ones. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. It's okay, I've just held on for so long, it's hard to let it go. The only home I've ever known is this restaurant. We all took that trip to Solvang once. Can't forget that first class trip to Solvang. You loved those uh, pancake balls. Abel Skeever. Eso. I think I'm going to take a break. Yeah, I can finish up chopping. No, I mean from Don Dago's. Oh. Yeah, I can't pay for your vacation days anymore, but please, take them. No, Anna, I'm leaving. There's a lot of traveling I've always wanted to do. The furthest away I've been from home was for that ramen convention in Reno. For how long? I don't know. You've been terrified of flying since you saw that Twilight Zone episode with the plane gremlin. (laughs) I'll manage. I'm really sorry for leading you on. I wish I had said something sooner. Yeah. I don't know what a world without you looks like. Neither do I. But maybe that's okay. Where's your first stop? New York. Remember Pascal? He's out there now and he's been loving it. Then after that, maybe Italy, Aruba, who knows? I never knew you wanted to eat, pray, love the world. (laughs) Just call me Julio Roberts. Well, wherever you end up, you have a home here, always. I know. Come on, your sister's waiting. Oh, finally, I'm starving. Hey. hey, is anyone there? Are you closed? Oh. Sorry, Chloe. Yesterday was our last day. You have to come with me. With you where? We were... Just about to have dinner's dinner. not important. Just come. Wow, nice car. 
Oh my god, that is a Bentley Continental Flying Spur 6.0! <laughs> Jun Ji Hyun drives this. Who do you think told her to buy one? <laughs> who the what the who? Uh, my sassy girl? My love from the star? Uh, kingdom? Still what? not following. Uh, yeah, Come on, no. let's go! No, thank you. This is like a Pablo Escobar, let's go for a drive situation. Okay, more Bentley for me then. <laughs> Oh, it looks like a Wayfair ad in here. Honey, this vehicle doesn't need an ad. It's a price upon request, limited edition. Ah, oh, then it would be my honor to get murdered in here, Senorita Escobar. <sighs> Mark, can you... Close up? Yeah, I got you. Thank you, Mark. Ooh, let's go, let's go. Vaya con Dios. Do I have to tip the chauffeur? Anna, stop being poor. Yeah, Anna. Ladies, welcome to Chol, the finest Korean restaurant in Los Angeles. This place is members only. Their Wagyu beef is 150 a plate. 165, but who's counting? So you kidnapped us from our last dinner for a dinner we can't afford. Uh, on behalf of my sister, I, I would like to apologize as I'm assuming that there's a, a free meal in all of this. You assume correctly. <laughs> Anna, Valentina, say hello to Mr. Sukmin Choi. <gasps> Who's that? This is... Chezon's father. Hello, Mr. Choi. Hello. Anna. What? Not with me. Oh, I forgot. Please, sit. <laughs> 저기요, 차를 따르십시오. 네. Ooh, that might be the first time a waiter ever pulled open my chair. Or anyone, actually. So, Ms. Campos, I've heard quite a bit about you. Good things. I hope. <laughs> or even just decent things. <laughs> you run a restaurant. I do. I did. I mean, yes, sorry. All of this is a little overwhelming. I've just heard that you're quite a powerful man. I'm sorry for asking this, but are you going to take us out? Not like out on a date, but like out, out. You're here to avenge your son's broken heart, aren't you? Oh God, am I rambling? I'm rambling, aren't I? <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, this, is, this is just kind of a, a nervous twitch that she has. <laughs> Oh, I can see why my son is in love with you. <laughs> I may be a powerful man, but I can assure you that you are in safe hands. Hyun, the document, please. Wow, Anna. A single-sided premium matte paper menu. Wow, this is definitely not a family-friendly restaurant. It's not a menu. It's a deed. Hmm? Yes, a deed to the building currently known as Don Dago's. And as you can see, the ownership has been transferred to a one Ana Maria Campos and a one Valentina Cristina Carolina Campos. <gasps> what? Shut the front door! It's yours if you choose. All you need to do is sign. How? And why? Power usually attracts many, like flies to honey. I've had my share from both sides. In this instance, it was Chezon's driver, Kunu. What are you talking about? Kunu? Wait, wait, you mean Chezon's assistant? That huge man? That's him. Uh, but he spent most of the time hanging out at the bar. Yes, but his drink of choice was espionage. What? Kunu saw a business opportunity when you and Chezon started dating. Wait, Kunu. Kunu works for Omni Realty. Omni Realty is a sub-sub-subsidiary of the Korean conglomerate MJ Group, a personal rival of mine. When I realized it was MJ Group pushing you out, I knew the trouble was being started from inside, from someone who knew the best way to hurt my son. Kunu. Yes. Kunu and I had an exchange of words. How could you do this to Jason? Has his friendship meant nothing to you? This friendship was bought and paid for. A wise man would see that. You could have spoken to me if you were unhappy. Did you 
have other plans for me? Countless promotions have passed me by. You would prefer that I save my talents to tend to your spoiled boy. Your work has value. You know we have been evaluating next steps for you. But I have no title. Nowhere to grow. I had to do what I could to thrive. Industrial espionage for MJ Group? They see my value. You're a pawn to them. Better a pawn than a chauffeur to a spoiled brat. Enough! Your son skates by on your reputation. <sighs> what has he ever done on his own? Other than fall in love with some American woman and risk everything? Did you know that it was my idea with the banknote that closed the deal here in LA? This company needs a real man to lead. I- Do you think that man is you? <laughs> that was an impulsive and silly idea, by the way. Did you know? Jason was actually the one who advocated for you over the years. Who insisted that I arrange for your schooling at a Sky University to send you to America to audit his MBA with him? Jason's mistake, and mine, is that we trusted you. No, I earned- Hyun, escort him out. This way, sir. I don't need an escort. Ji Kangwu? Move out of my way. FBI. You're under arrest for industrial espionage. What? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. You will have your day, Sungmin. It didn't have to end this way, Kunu. I saw you as family. We trusted you. Keep lying to yourself, old man. This isn't the end of this. Wow. But what does Anna have to do with this? Using the paparazzi in the States is bad? The Korean news outlets would have had a field day. Scandal. Senior VP of Choi Enterprises dates failed restaurateur. Damn, Korean tabloids are petty. Mm hmm. Jason's always stayed out of trouble. He's a good kid. He hates being in the media, and nothing would make MJ Group happier than to see Jason, and by extension me, be publicly humiliated. The scandal would have sown doubt in Jason's ability to lead the company and damage our relationships domestically and abroad. Valentina's salsa line was next. <gasps> that bastard! How? He had access to Jason, which meant he had access to you. In our country, a person of Jason's stature is highly scrutinized for both their professional and personal behavior. Oh, like a Kardashian. <gasps> oh my gosh. Anna, you were dating a Korean Kardashian! We're more like the Kennedys. We are socially responsible, but we get just as drunk as everyone else. Hmm. The headlines would have read, Future CEO bails out destitute American sisters. We wouldn't need a bailout. The next phase in their Choi and Tell failures plan was sabotaging your retail relationships. Which is why you should take the offer. Mr. Choi, I, I, I don't know what to say. I think you would be nice. Oh, of course, thank you, but I don't, I don't think I can accept. I understand. May I ask your reasoning? It would feel like I owed you, plus, Jason and I aren't together anymore. We haven't spoken, and it wouldn't be right. And yet, you still wear the watch she gave you. Samchun, can you blame her? <laughs> yeah, that watch has its own mortgage. I see you have a lot of integrity. But I ask, is this your integrity or stubbornness? Help is not a handout. It is a gift. You can choose to receive it. Or not. I accept your offer. <laughs> yes! On one condition, oh. we trade an exchange of gifts. Oh, a cultural exchange. So, Ayo, I'd love to try your cooking. Oh, that sounds fair, right, Anna? Um, I am happy to cook for you, but that doesn't quite seem like enough for. Shut up and say yes! Okay! Okay. I think that could work. Excellent. I'm sure my home chef would appreciate the guidance. Home chef? Like, in Seoul? Mm-hmm. We'll arrange a car service to pick you up. My jet will be ready as soon as you are. <gasps> oh, baby's first private jet! <laughs> we'll be setting an extra plate once we arrive, of course. Jason's done? At the end of the week. 
Ay, Ana, Ana, can we go? Pretty please, pretty please. Porfa, 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 porfa. It'd be a great surprise. I... Don't listen to them. Do what's best for you. But I know my son misses you. I... accept both your offers. <gasps> Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, my eardrums may never recover. Okay, where's the pen? Hyun, the pen. Thank you, Mr. Choi. Call me Soomin. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, can I say it? Can I say it? I, I have to say it. <laughs> say what? The campus are going to Seoul! Love and Norebang is produced by Sonoro and the Mashup Americans. Executive produced by Camila Victoriano and Joshua Weinstein for Sonoro, and Amy S. Choi and Rebecca Lehrer for the Mashup Americans. Directed by Amy S. Choi and Rebecca Lehrer. Written by Quincy Cho and Anthony Aguilar. Supervising producer, Sofia de Antuniano. Project manager, Shelby Sandlin. Post-production supervisor, Israel Perez Pis. Story editor, Amy S. Choi and Rebecca Lehrer. Script coordinator, Paula Estrada. Casting by Camila Victoriano, Amy S. Choi, and Rebecca Lehrer. Casting directors, Natalie Ballesteros, Alan Luna, and Michelle Adams. Audio engineer, Manny Bulnes. Dialogue editor, Daniel Padilla. Sound designer and Foley artist, Manny Bulnes. Music editor, Laura Cruz. Orchestration and score, Laura Cruz. Assembly and mix down, Many Bulnes. Original song, Underneath the Lights, by Laura Cruz, with vocals by Jen Kwok and additional production by Jen Kwok and Jody Shelton. Mastering by Alex De Winter. Performances in this episode by Francia Raiza, Randall Park, Emily Tosta, June Yoon, Julia Cho and Rafael Torres. This one.